My first marathon was in uh, 05 and uh, at that time uh, there wasn't much, uh, there was no concept of pacing uh, and so it was all on my own, I trained and I, I, I went for the marathon. Uh, I didn't really uh, know what to do, I just ran till I got tired and, and crashed, hit the wall like everybody uh, does and uh, I, didn't, I didn't meet my objectives. But the following year in uh, 06, I uh, went overseas for some uh, races and I saw that there were paces. Uh, uh, guiding people along and showing people uh, the, the, the target times that we can join them and we can run and meet those targets as well. So uh, in 06 I, I benefited from the paces and I did uh, pretty well in the sense that I was able to uh, keep my pace in check with the guidance of the paces. And uh, thereafter I joined a local pacing group. At that time it was in infancy. Okay, uh, and I, I did my first pace as a pacer in uh, 07 and from then on uh, I was hooked. I was uh, able to share with people uh, my experiences as a, as a runner and also more importantly is to be able to guide and uh, bring fellow runners to achieve their targets. I think that it's, it's always nice to have people come up to you say after the race. It may not, it may not even be immediate like a week after you are in the MRT, and then someone comes up to you and say, "You probably don't remember me, but you were sometimes pacer. Like I ran with you, you know, and this is the first time I finished the race very comfortably." After it happens a few times, then you find that this is really, really good. Seeing uh, the runners coming back, all these uh, pace, the different pace groups, you know, in their jubilation, you know, in their happiness, the sense of satisfaction, you know, as they as they cross together as a group meeting their targets. I think that is the, the greatest sense of satisfaction uh, that, that, that we achieve. As uh, for the criteria of the, of the pacer, uh, we need to be a regular regular runners, um, at least uh, a couple of years of uh, running experience in races uh, and by, of course, uh, long distance. You must at least have a few race experience, either a marathon, no matter half marathon or full marathon so that uh, you have some experience on this sort of training and to cover the distance that you require. So uh, as a pacer, you need to have a, you need to run at a slow pace than a normal pace. And the, the mileage that you cover need to be sustainable for you to so-called uh, lead the runner to meet the required time. Each of them will be pacing a uh, timing that is slower, 15 minutes to 30 minutes slower than their personal best. So that gives them a buffer to be able to provide this uh, you know, proper pace, uh, pacing along the way.